Now for another two-minute history report. We all know about the blockbuster, World War II, the famous attacks, the military heroes. But what do you know about the prequel, the First World War? At the time, they didn't call it World War I. No one ever imagined there'd be another. It was known as the Great War, or the War to End All Wars. In the early 20th century, Europe had a bit of a different look. There were the Fab Four empires, ruled by monarchs who maintained a delicate balance of power. Then, in the summer of 1914, a group of assassins attempted to blow up Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand while he was touring Bosnia. The attempt failed, but later in the day, an assassin's bullet prevailed. In retaliation, the Austro-Hungarian Empire declared war on Serbia. Russia immediately came to Serbia's support, which motivated Germany to declare war on Russia. Before long, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Great Britain were involved. Jolly good! Everyone polarized into two groups, the Allied Powers and the Central Powers. New technologies dominated this world conflict. Tanks, machine guns, and airplanes changed the way armies battled. Trenches and tunnels became the new strategy, although that led to soggy problems. The British and German navies dominated the seas. Then in May of 1915, Germany sank the Lusitania, killing 128 Americans. President Woodrow Wilson demanded Germany change her tactics. I demand it. Huh? Germany appeared to comply, but later offered to finance Mexico in a war against the U.S. So the United States joined the war. Oops. A year later, on August 8th, the Allied forces began the Hundred Days Offensive. This series of assaults forced the German forces back and eventually led to the war's conclusion. On the 11th hour, on the 11th day of the 11th month, a ceasefire went into effect. Then came the Treaty of Versailles and the formation of the League of Nations. This war changed the landscape of Europe. Monarchs were out, the four great empires were gone, and new countries emerged. So here it is in a nutshell. Europe used to be led by the Big Four until a bullet made Franz no more. Conflicts arose, triggering numerous hawks, Success meant machine guns, tanks, and dry socks. The ceasefire became a celebrated day, although the next war was just a few years away. That was World War I in two minutes.